Hey friends, I'm so excited to share with you. I was in prayer this morning and I just felt such a burden for the body of Christ to get physically fit, to get healthy, to get healed in your physical body. We have been talking about deliverance and spiritual deliverance for months. We've been like casting out demons, breaking chains, breaking bondages. But the revelation that I also had this morning, which I already knew, but it came to me fresh again was your physical healing is deliverance because when your body is sick what do you feel you feel down you feel tired you feel weak you feel defeated you feel victimized all these things you get frustrated i think sometimes your faith is affected because you're not you know all pumped up and ready to go because you don't feel well so how do you manifest that physical healing well i want to share with you today I I'm excited to be sharing this. I want to really hammer this and hit this hard. I want you to join me back here Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to do a healing service and we are going to see miracles just pop wide open because of that is the God that we serve. And we have seen so many miracles in the last week in our ministry that I know God is saying, Kathy, release it on media, release it on the internet, release it on Facebook and YouTube. And that's where all the miracles that we're seeing is happening is on the internet right here. And so I'm very excited. But guys, I had 15 different health issues over a period of years and years and years. I wasn't that person that was like really sick and bedridden and stuff like that. But I was that average person that, you know, you have some health afflictions hit you. I had high blood pressure. I had torn labrum tendons. I had moles that, you know, went bad overnight. I had inflammation. Um, I had a root canal I needed done. I had all these just normal life. Can we just say normal life things? And I was just like adamant that I wanted Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, to be my healer. I was like, I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to the word of God. I'm going to pray. I'm going to anoint myself. And I am going to have faith that God is going to heal me. Okay. And I want to share a little bit with you. I want to encourage you, please share this to your wall. Why? Because everyone has some kind of physical ailment. If you're wearing contacts, guess what? You need healing. If you're overweight, you need healing. If you have some aches and pains, you need healing. I don't know one person that doesn't have something in which they need healing from. And even myself, if you don't know, I do wear contacts, but you want to know what happened? The last three times I've gone to the eye doctor, my prescription has decreased. And so my healing is manifesting and it is amazing. And so you guys, I want to give you some keys and pray with you and just really encourage you. First of all, I want to um, just encourage you. I want to give you some testimonies of the healings that we've seen. Uh, we saw gout healed this week. We saw shoulder pain healed this week. Um, someone had a thumb issue that was totally healed. Uh, I'm trying to think of them all. They're like, just like coming in. Someone even told me about witchcraft. They're like, I had witchcraft attacking me and I was on your witchcraft webinar and they're like, it has gone away. The warfare in my life has minimized. I mean, guys, it is like crazy fun things happening on the internet. And God is just showing up in his glory and power. And even before I got on this feed tonight, I was in worship for an hour because it's like, I don't want to just get on social media because you have to do it. I don't want to just get on because it's the right thing. I want to get on because the spirit's moving. Come on. Who, who's like, agree? Yes, Kathy, I want a move of God. Guys, I don't want to be somewhere where there's 
not a move of God. I want God to show up and show off. Why? Because then God gets the glory. His name gets glorified. And that is my heart's desire. That's my greatest desire is that the name of the Lord gets glorified. And as we pray and, and as you feel um, the presence of the Lord, then we know it's God who's doing it. Amen. And so I just, you know, oh man, I just, I just feel like God's going to do something miraculous in your life tonight. So before I even teach and share, I just, I just feel right now, like I got to start praying for you right now. Can I do that? So in the name of Jesus, I just speak and decree right now to that part of your body in which you need healing in which you need restoration. And I command cancer to leave in the name of Jesus. I command bitterness and resentment to leave in the name of Jesus. I command inflammation to leave in the name of Jesus. I command your heart to beat right in the name of Jesus. I command that blood pressure to be 110 over 70. I command your heart to be 80 beats per minute in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone who's having a walking issue, I command your feet just to align to the word of God, every joint, every tendon, every ligament to line up to the word of God. Any place where you feel defeated and victimized and that you really need healing, I command that wrong mentality, that vain imagination, that false scenario just to leave you right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yahshua Messiah. Guys, I want to tell you some PowerPoints of how to manifest your healing. You must be speaking out. You have to speak to your body. Can I be honest? Stop asking people to pray for you all the time. Jesus said, I give you authority. You have more authority over your situation than anyone else. And yes, I did get people to pray for me, but I got them to stand in agreement. I was praying. I was opening my mouth. I was decreeing and I was declaring. And I just kept speaking to every condition. And so I want to encourage you. My book, Speak Out, is on sale for only $7.99, guys, $7.99. If you have not heard about my book, Speak Out, on my Facebook pages, there is a video that I did with Bob Duvall at Sid Roth, um, and that aired this week. And it will tell you all about the power of our words, speaking out and decreeing. But it was the power of my words that manifested my healing. And even one time when I went to the prayer line for a root canal, I had prayed for it for a couple weeks. And I went to the prayer line and I didn't say, please pray for my root canal my tooth that I wouldn't need one. I said, I'm coming up here for you to stand in agreement and decree and declare for the full manifestation of my healing that I will not need a root canal. So I didn't claim my sickness. Stop claiming your sickness. Stop claiming your disease. Stop pretending, um, you know, that you're all holier than thou sometimes. You know, I think we pretend that we're holier than thou. And at the same time, guys, we pretend that we're victimized, not even pretend, but we act like we're victimized. Okay. We got to have a balance in our emotions. And I think when we go to healing, uh, we just go all over the place. And I want you to be true to be you and what you're feeling, but don't feel like this victim speaking it out into the spiritual atmosphere because the enemy will use that and people don't want to hear that. Okay. And so we got to be like, we got to know when we can get prayer. Okay. So we don't want to be like, oh, holier than thou. I never need prayer. I'm like, I want you to stand in agreement with me for prayer. All right. But I spoke out what the results, just like when David went against Goliath, he spoke out the results ahead of time. And some of you are sitting in such a place of victim and defeat. And guys, I'm not shaming you for that. I was there once in a while too. You know, I'd be like, man, Kathy, you're you're just sitting victimized. You're sitting defeated. Okay. And I had to pull my mind and my mentality out of that place in order to manifest my healing. And so speak out and decree to whatever it is. When you ask for prayer, get people to stand in agreement with you. Don't claim it. Okay. Because whatever we confess, we possess. Whatever we confess, we possess. And so I'd say, I want to see the full manifestation of my healing. I would prophesy out 
the result, okay? Some of you are in this, oh, just pray for this and pray for that and pray for this and pray for that. I want to empower you how to pray. That's what I want to do. And that's why I wrote my book, Speak Out. And guys, honestly, I'm like not making anything on this. I need to get it into your hands. And my website link is up, kathydegrawministries.org. Because I want to show you this. In that book, there's a testimony how this guy was about ready to call an ambulance. And he didn't because he's like, I knew the ambulance wouldn't make it in time. And I spoke out the name of Jesus. Okay, guys, there's been times where I didn't know how to pray or I didn't have time to pray. I just screamed out the name of Jesus and got healed. I remember one time seeing on a worship screen the word healed. And so what we need to do is we need to be speaking out and telling our body to come into alignment with the word of God. Okay. Tell your mind to get out of victim and defeat. Tell your body to align. If you have cancer, tell your T cells to eat up the cancer. If you have high blood pressure, if you got to take that pill, you say, thank you, God, that this is a temporary solution because by Christ's stripes, I'm healed. I command my blood pressure to be 110 over 70 in Jesus' name. And I command my heart to be 80 beats per minute, okay? If you have diabetes, if you're diabetes type 1 or 2 or you're labeled as pre-diabetic, okay, you have to speak to your cells and command your cells to receive insulin. That is the root. That is the core. That is the deepest problem within the human anatomy is that your cells aren't receiving insulin. And so take whatever sickness or disease you have and research it. Listen to me clearly. Research it enough so you know how to pray about it effectively, but don't research it too much that it causes fear and anxiety. But I think some of you are praying amiss and you don't know how to pray for that sickness and disease, or you're so tired, you're so frustrated, you're so weary, you're just like giving up and you're going to this prayer line and this social media and this Facebook. Guys, stay on the track. Ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's the root of this? Holy Spirit, is it a generational curse? Okay. I posted something on my Facebook today about that. Is it a generational curse? And I have a workbook and a book on my website that will help you to know, is this a generational curse? Can you break it? Yes. I had a doctor curse me once and he said, you'll be on three high blood pressure medicines for the rest of your life because high blood pressure is a generational curse that you cannot break. And right to his face, I said, I rebuke that in Jesus name. Okay, so I'm bold. I take that curse that the doctor speaks out. I take a hold of it right there. If I'm in a, an extreme situation where I can't, I'll get out in the parking lot and then I'll cancel all those word curses before I even get in my vehicle. All right. When I was diagnosed with needing a root canal, the first thing I said to the dentist was, how long do I have? And he thought it was absolutely crazy. And I said, how long do I have? He goes, what do you mean? Those things don't go away by themselves. I said, no, they don't, but I know my God will heal me. And that's what I declared out. And you know what I got? I got a doctor's, a surgeon's verified report that I did not need a root canal. Come on, give God some praise. Come on. For those of you that are on Facebook, a lot of you know my Sid Roth show just aired this week, okay? What you don't really realize is this book coupled with a four-part audio set that Sid is selling. And I cannot encourage you enough to get it because I talk about the 15 medicals, how I got those manifestations. You need that audio set. So even if you have this book, I want you to get this set that Sid is offering. Give that book to a friend for Christmas. Give it to your pastor. Give it to a church leader, okay? And get that CD audio set. It's going to change your life in the way you pray and the way your finances are in your healing. 
Guys, we are sick as the body of Christ. and We need to get healthy so that we can what? So we can release the ministry and do what God has called us to do. Do you want to know how you're missing your healing? You're not casting out the demon that's associated with your physical infirmity, guys. That's why some people get healed at an altar and then their sickness or their disease or their symptoms manifest in two, three, and five days. It's because you didn't cast out the demon with it. Look at the word of God. Jesus did healing and deliverance together. We have to heal and cast out the demon. So for high blood pressure, we should be casting out a spirit of infirmity. We should be casting out stress, anxiety, worry, and fear. You got it? We should be breaking agreement with a generational curse. And so that's what you need to do. I need you well. Why do I need you well? Because you have a destiny. You have something to accomplish for the kingdom of God. And I need you well. I need you well. Because I need you out there running for the Lord. Running for the kingdom. And doing his work. And doing his will. Amen. So guys, I want you to think about your physical infirmity. If it's fibromyalgia, it's stress, anxiety, worry. If it's asthma, you know what the root cause of asthma is? It's fear. If it's a colon issue, there can be fear, there can be control. And so you have to look at what is a physical infirmity. But even if you don't know, say spirit of infirmity, get out of me in Jesus name. Okay, get out and you have to make sure, guys, that you are forgiving. You are forgiving. Guys, I cannot ex explain all the, the healing and the miracles that are coming in just from being here, just from teaching, just from releasing these declaring prayers. And I want to let you know. I just listed today, I found 99 empty bottles of anointing oil that, and I filled them guys. Okay. There wasn't oil in them. I filled them and I filled them with frankincense, hyssop, and myrrh. And when my husband and I were just praying and worshiping upstairs, they were by me and I'm filling them. Okay. I'm scenting them myself. I'm putting prayer cloths in the orders, scented prayer cloths. I'm laying hands on them because I'm expecting your healing. So when you go over to my website, you want the two dram, that's a tall bottle. It'll say special edition. Okay. It'll say healing miracles. I am believing and guys, they're, they're starting to sell out. I mean, like the, the, I couldn't believe the orders blowing up today. And when they're gone, I don't have any more of those. And so I want to go you to go over there because this is what I'm going to give you with it. I'm going to give you 12 points in your order of how I manifested my healing of what I did, what I said, um, how I prayed, uh, what I did to my physical body. I'm going to give you 12 points that I haven't posted on Facebook. I haven't posted on YouTube that is going to help you say, okay, I have to do this. Step A, I have to do this. Step B. And so the speak out book, the anointing oil, I cannot encourage you enough to get it. Now, this is what I want you to do with your guys' anointing oil. Put it in your bathroom, guys, next to your mirror. So like when you're brushing your teeth, you remember to anoint yourself every day. That is so important. Now, what I want you to know is hyssop, frankincense, and myrrh, when you have a high quality essential oil into a high quality olive oil, that is healing in itself. That's why I want you to anoint yourself every day. Frankincense is one of the most healing oils that we can possibly get. And so now you're taking an anointing oil that's been prayed over. It's a representation of the Holy Spirit. It says in the Bible to anoint with oil. So you got it prayed over. You're rising up. You're putting your faith in it. And so now you have what? You got two things. You got a spiritual, okay, because it's biblical to use anointing oil. 
And now we got a physical thing because when we're using high quality ingredients, we're putting them on our body, they're being absorbed into our skin, into our bloodstream and helping that prayer go forth, okay? That's why it's so important. Guys, I gotta tell you, you gotta throw away those anointing oils that you're buying in the store, you're buying on Amazon, all of that factory commercially made. You need to make sure. And they have a shelf life. People don't talk about that. Anointing oil only has like a six to 18 month shelf life. And so I need you to get healed. I need you to get healed. And I know so many of you are like sick and tired of being sick and tired. Amen. And so I want to pray for you right now. I want to encourage you guys I'm going to be blasting out the airwaves. And so you make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be going on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I'm going to be going everywhere trying to get you healed. It's going to be my passion. It is going to be my passion because I'm seeing so many, so many manifestations of miracles. These people are being healed instantly. It's not even over five days. They're like, I was healed the minute you prayed. And so guys, I want you to put up in the comments right now what I can pray for you for. We're going to tackle this in the spiritual realm. We're going to pray. I want you to send in your testimonies and message me, email me, fill out our contact us form. I want to heal here when you are getting healed. And don't forget, go over to the website, guys. I even have all these Life in the Spirits on sale for only a buck 99, because that's how much I want you to have declarations, getting to know the Holy Spirit. Guys, if you don't know, I wrote the actual devotions, the 30-day devotions, declarations, and four of these. And so I want you to get empowered in any way you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that yeast infection to go off of you. At least I command that inflammation. I command your hormones to be balanced. I command your body to align with the word of God. And right now, at least I command your spine to align with the word of God. I command God to give you a creative miracle in the name of Yeshua, a creative miracle that you would feel his holy oil pour through your spine right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against sinus infections in the name of Jesus Christ. I command inflammation to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I had a word of knowledge earlier for somebody who's having headaches. I command your serotonin levels to be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. Serotonin levels to be normal. Um, John Ray, right now, I pray for that liver and I command it to recreate into the perfection in which God made it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I reverse that curse off your liver in the name of Jesus Christ. I command eyes to be healed in the name of Jesus. And I command that vertigo, that dizziness to uh, go. I command equilibrium to be um, come forth and be balanced in the name of Jesus. Monica, I pray against that flu right now in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit of infirmity. I say sickness and disease leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Kimberly, I command that depression and anxiety to go. I speak and decree that you'll put on a garment of phrase for a spirit of heaviness. I command that mind binding spirit to loose you and let you go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak Kavita to your ears and I command them to align with the word of God. I command you to hear. I command eye floaters to go in the name of Jesus, eyes to be healed right now. I just pray an overhaul for you right now that you feel the holy oil of God, the fire of God burning up every infirmity in you, Kavita, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed name. Tim, I just command that blood pressure to align with the word of God. I command your arteries and veins to be normal. I command your blood pressure to be 110 over 70 and 80 beats per minute in the name name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lot of hearing and eyes. So right now, God, I ask for you to restore corneas, retinas, optical nerves. I command 2020 visions in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command ears to open, death and dumb spirit, get out. Ears open up. 
in the name of Jesus. Guys, when you say deaf and dumb spirit, it doesn't mean you're deaf and dumb, but that's the spirit that's attached to that hearing loss. Joints be healed, inflammation go. If you guys have joint issues, if you have arthritis, honestly, probably about 90% of diseases is inflammation. And so command inflammation to go. But guys, you have to make sure you're taking a high quality fish oil vitamin, a high quality natural organic, not something you get at a wholesale store or on Amazon, okay? You need to take a high quality. And a lot of times people's um, sickness and disease is because they don't have a proper balance of omega-3s and omega-6s in your body. And so I want to give you that. But also, guys, inflammation, that's another reason why you need anointing oil. Because I had inflammation. I was breaking out all over my face. And I put on um, frankincense and myrrh with the anointing oil. And you need the proper portions, too. And that's how we mix our anointing oil bottles to have the proper portion so it's not too weak and it's not too strong because you don't want it to be too strong and burn you. You don't want it to be too weak, okay? And that's why you got to know that. But when you put anointing oil on, rashes they'll go away. A lot of times they'll go away. Eczema, psoriasis, rosacea. Okay. They'll go away. Because why? Because God created the essential oils. Okay. He created the plants where we get those from. So think about it. God gave us natural things. And so that's where I say, put them in your, put your anointing oil in your bathroom. You should be using it every single day. And, but also when you look at anointing oil, guys, those essential oils in there help your inflammation. And that is what it's happening is your skin is breaking out or your organs are responding because there's inflammation and somehow it has to be expelled and react. And so I'm telling you this because sometimes it's just not enough to pray. We got to do things in the natural, like what? Like drinking lots of water, okay? We got to do things our part. Now, what else do we do if we want our healing? Take communion, okay? This is so important. I want to, you know, encourage you to take this communion. If you're sick, um, the person that had the flu, try and take this two or three times a day, okay? Grab bread, cr cracker, flour shell. I don't even care if you have juice, you know, use water as your communion. Take it so that you can see the manifestation of your healing. Come on, guys, hit the share button right now because people need this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit of infirmity plaguing you to get out. I command the spirit of sickness, get out. I command spirits of disease and death to go. I command every demonic spirit that has a death assignment over you and is trying to manifest sickness to get out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Friends, you got to pray that violently. You got to speak it out, okay? You got to speak it out. And that's why you need to get the book, $7.99. You can only get it on my website at that price. Amazon has some, but they're not that cheap, okay? I want to encourage you to get it. Get it because God wants you healed. He sent his son Jesus to purchase your healing, okay? What I want you to know, you have an inheritance. Jesus died so that you could be well. You have to shift your mind and remember that. Shift your mind and remember. Join me Sunday night, 7 p.m. I'm going to be doing a healing service. We're going to see miracles break out. Friends, go shop the website. I still got my cyber sale up. Hit shop all, go down cyber sale, but get the oil, get prayer shawls, get your healing tools. And I'm going to be praying over them. And I know you're going to be sending me a testimony. I love you guys. Have a blessed night. Get off here. Shop, pray, worship, and expect the manifestation of your healing.